so sorry, mate. It's better luck next time, eh? <laughs> Aging in a bit of private enterprise? Well, club's closed while well, they can trace you away, but my man needs income. Even if that man has a few unseen aces up his sleeve? Perish the thought. I am honest as the day is long. Does the lady play? No. I win. Oh, a woman after my own heart. Actually, I'm here about Luke. He called to say that he and Tracy had been released from the clutches of Elena Cassidyne. Well, look, he was right. Are they okay? Back to their battling selves. They are on the way home from Greece right now, in separate planes. <laughs> Par for the course. Why did Luke call you, though? Is he hoping for some consolation upon his return? On the contrary, Luke made it perfectly clear that I am to make myself scarce. So Tracy's on another jealous rampage, eh? I get the feeling this is more than business as usual. I get the feeling that Luke and Tracy might be splitting up for good. So Luke actually told you to stay away? In no uncertain terms. I mean, he loves Tracy, but let's face it, he lights up like the Chinese New Year every time you walk into the room. So if he can resist you, things must be bad. I would agree. So, uh, where will you be hiding out? Well, I would be leaving town, but I do have some unfinished business, and it's nice to know that I can find a backup hero when I need one. I'm your man. What's your game? Oh, um... I'm not sure you could handle it. Oh, hey. My reputation may not be squeaky clean, but let's face it, neither is Luke's. And if you trust him, you can trust me. Well, that's true, but, but there I... we go. I risk my case. So what's the problem? Well, it's about money. Oh, but see, I love money. Yeah, all locked up, or I can't get to it, and I need a good man to help me. Good man at your service. Unfortunately, you're a little bit late. Well, if, if Dad's unavailable, then who else could you have in mind? Oh, Jax, there you are. Thank you so much for coming. I was just a phone call from my beautiful ex-wife. What do you need? Uh, where do I start? to get a message to Luke. Why? What's happened now? Well, Tracy called from a plane and insisted that Alice dump all of Luke's stuff on the lawn and to be ready and waiting with a can of gasoline. <laughs> this is a bad fight. Bad enough to be the end of Luke and Tracy. No, Luke will find some way to turn it around and make it the beginning. Luke was helping me with a special project. Special, you mean illegal. Well, let's just say it crosses a few boundaries. And Luke couldn't help you? Well, that's unusual, No, isn't he it? was helping me, but uh, Tracy has taken precedence. They are on their way back from Greece as we speak, and it appears they've been arguing. There's nothing unusual? No, it, it's, it's serious this time. Luke asked me to stay out of the picture so he and Tracy don't explode, and since I'd rather not be hit by the shrapnel, I've decided to honor his request, which brings me to you. Well, I am flattered. Jax, I, I do know that you prefer your project, shall we say, um, a little cleaner. Uh, that's okay. I'm going through a few changes in my life. I might just be willing to get my hands dirty for you. Why don't we get together at the hotel a little bit later for some dinner and we can talk about it. Huh? Oh, perfect. Jax, thank you. Oh, no worries. I hope you feel that way when we are knee-deep in this project. <laughs> yes, I hope so, too. I just don't get the attraction. I mean, Luke seems like a pretty cool guy, and Tracy's a nightmare. Oh, she's not all that bad. Hey, that's big of you, <laughs> considering she treats you like something in the bottom of her shoe. She sees me as a threat. <laughs> okay, she loves Luke, but why in the world does he love her? Believe it or not, they are actually good for each other, you know? They're both smart and savvy. They love to match wits. Yeah, they never get bored of each other, that's for sure. But where's the romance? Oh, it's not always about romance, is it? It's about whatever keeps the spark alive. And with Luke and Tracy, that spark is surprisingly bright. It's something very few of us are very lucky enough to find. Truth is, I envy them. Um, I should get going, too. No, 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 no! Don't rush off. Why shouldn't I? Well, I've got the spark. Queen of Diamonds, Two of Spades. Ah, uh, loser. 
<laughs> My cards yeah. do seem to be tanking, don't they? Mm -hmm. You know, you really should be playing for money. Yeah, I imagine if I did, you'd try a lot harder to win. Or cheat. Oh, you wound me. Oh, you'll recover. <laughs> you know, I'm beginning to understand why Luke finds Tracy so appealing. I mean, why would I be so nice to you when you are so blatantly mean to me? Whoa, whoa, okay, if you're comparing me to Tracy, you better watch your back and keep me away from the cutlery. Oh, see, there you go again. Hostility, it's such a waste. <sighs> I mean, where am I gonna find another girl who can beat me at Omaha 8 or even knows how to play Omaha 8? I'm hardly a girl. <laughs> and if you're trying to play for my sympathy, not gonna work. Seriously, why do you dislike me so much? I mean, I could understand it when you thought I'd be Christina, but now it doesn't make any sense at all. It doesn't, huh? No, I mean, you have to admit, I'm a pretty decent guy. Okay, I admit it, Ethan. There you go, see, this is good, we're making progress. <laughs> you're also the kind of guy who's all flash and fun the best time you've ever had until it all falls apart and something goes wrong. Call me hostile, okay? But I don't want to be around to watch.